Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with Ryan and Rigby, my mining partners. And if you look around, you don't see any snow. None, zero whatsoever. It's been 402 years since we've been down here where we could just shovel anywhere we want. Isn't that right? That's right, finally. Oh my God, it's the, that winter was the longest winter ever, at 22 months minimum. So we're gonna do some classifying today. We brought a couple of sluices along. We always have our pans along and uh, we're gonna put Rigby on the hunt. He's gonna find the gold, that's his job. We're gonna have a great day today. Back in a bit. Well, Rigby's still searching. We're gonna pick off, pick up where we left off last time. We're doing really well right along this edge right here. And just because there was gold here in the past doesn't mean it's still there. Well, maybe it does, but we don't know. So we're doing some test, test samples right here before I even start running my, my classifier over there. As you can see, this stuff's full of, full of nice cobbles <laughs> and uh, real good mucky looking different colors of clay in there. And that's where we were finding it before. And uh, reason would say that's where we're gonna find it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and rustle up a couple of pans quick just to make sure that there's still gold in there. And then we're gonna do I don't know, two, three buckets at a time. I brought three five gallon pails with me today. And we'll go ahead and set a sluice up over in there. There's plenty of water running. Just have to fluff it up maybe just a little bit to, to get a little bit of less flow in my sluice. And uh, hopefully we do really well today. I do believe we will. Like I said, we have the pick of anywhere we wanna go. I'll get some of these big rocks out of there like that and I'll try to do one live all the way down. Just like that. A little more difficult with one hand than you would think. Drinking a PBR is way easier with one hand than this. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can pull that one back. See if we can find some gold in there. I see a couple of pieces already. Oh, I see numerous pieces in there. Right up top there, take a look. I don't know, there's three or four that I can see for sure. Pretty small. Oh, there's five, six, seven in there. Let me get that down all the way. We'll get a more accurate count, but uh, I think we're going to be just fine. All right, Ryan's over there just about done taking his first test pan. And I've got mine down. And it looks like there's roughly, come on, get focused, you. Boy, there might be a dozen in there. Look how small some of those are. Let me put this into three. Bam. I'll get the glare off, let it focus, focus, focus. A couple of nice pieces in there for sure. Those aren't little teeny weeny dots of flour, but you can see that those right there are minuscule compared to those. So we're gonna go ahead and snuffer those up, just like this. Got it. And Ryan says he has yeah. about 15, yeah, some. 15 colors in there. Let's see if we can get the glare off of that one. Here, let me get my big fat head in the way. And drop that one into three. Heck yeah. Yep. Some nice gold in there. Oh yeah. All right. Well, it's still here. Now all we gotta do is fill up lots and lots of pails. Back in a bit. And just like that, TV magic. We've got two pails all classified up and ready to go. I've got my sluice set up. I threw one in there just to see what it was looking like and I saw a nice piece of gold stick to my indicator mat up top there. We are on it. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, those are only half pails. Well, I tell you what. When those half pails that are all full of clay turn into one big hard lump of clay, you'll be glad it's only half a pail. So we'll go ahead and grab some juicy clay madness out of here. We'll throw a couple of scoops on there. See that? It's already turning into a big clump. That's, you don't want that because that stuff will roll right down your sluice and steal your gold. Now I have this rubber mat fixed to my 
to my flare up there and it allows that gold to stick to it just briefly and I can see if we're putting gold on there or not. And it rolls right down onto my onto my gold hog mother load mats and my uh, infinity prospecting Devon Gold VDR sluice mat. <laughs> That's a pretty good system. And I think we're up and running pretty good. Everything seems to be clearing out of there nicely, all the lights. And those will exchange themselves for the for the black sand and the gold. So let me run a few of these through there and see if we can't find something special. He's already on the hunt for the next big thing. Mm -hmm. We are sluicing away here. What fun. Hey Ryan, how many times have you been bit by a mosquito so far? Uh... None. Not a one, yeah. that's right. He's over here setting up his sluice. <laughs> right next to mine. <laughs> There's an awful yeah. lot of water in here for that little baby, but he'll get it figured out. I've seen that thing catch gold before, it'll do it again. But we, on the other hand, our mats are turning good and black. Just chock full of, well, it's probably a lot of ironstone in there and black sand, but that's what you want. It's getting rid of the lights and capturing the heavies. If you stare at this thing long enough, you get good at picking out the gold creeping along the bottom. Indeed. Exciting stuff. Oh, I, I seen a couple right there. Went by a little faster than I care for. I might have to get rid of a little bit of my water here. Back in a minute. All right, it's cleanup time. Now I have both of those slightly larger than half pails run. I've got a fresh pail of water here. We're gonna do a little bit of a cleanup. See what's in two level or one level five gallon pail. And I do see some gold in there. All right, there's a few nice pieces. And I did spot a couple down in here. There's another nice piece right there. That's a darn nice looking flake right there for sure. That's a pretty big flake. So I'm gonna set the camera up back there, show you my process. We're gonna take a look at some gold. Now this is an extremely technical process and so you wanna make sure you get it right. Grab it, and you stick it in there. Well, and then you splash it. And voila. Voila. All right, we'll get this baby into a pan. Give a little splashing. Nice and clean. Now that's not much material at all, so this shouldn't take too darn long. Let me peel that down a little bit, see what's in it. And there it is. One level five gallon pail gets you about that much gold. Not too darn bad. Come on, you get focused here. What's going on around here? <laughs> there we go, well, kinda. But those are some pretty nice pieces if you ask me all day long and there's lots and lots of really small fine powder that went down inside of there but like i said cleanups for are for the shop go sit down and have 20 or 30 ice cold pbrs <laughs> and clean gold so we're going to get back to work and run a whole bunch of pails take a look at it we're still here grinding away and it's always important to test 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 now I noticed that I was getting down through the clay just a little bit as we're working this, this deposit right here. And I started getting down into some gray looking gravels and, and no clay hardly mixed in with it. So I did a test pan. I only found one piece in that whole darn pan. So I moved down that way just a little bit and I'm still working that same gray colored uh, gravel type material, but it's got clay mixed in with it. Let me show you this test pan. Now that's a test pan worth working right there. There's some nice pieces in there and lots of them. All kinds of flour in there for sure. There, I bet you there's 25, 30 pieces in that darn pan. It always pays to test. I could have just dug in that hole down there, you know, getting one piece in a, in a pan or two pieces and uh, not knowing it, filling up pails of it. So I'm just gonna stick to that top layer where that clay is, just work my, edge, my, my way down this edge right here. Rigby's up there shaking his head at me and that's what made me do it. Right, Rig? That's right. All right, we're back in action. 
Got two more nice pails all ready to roll here. Sluice is already set up from, from last time. Let's grab a scoop. Pitch it on there. Oh yeah. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. <laughs> All right, now Ryan's about to do a cleanup and his process might be even a little bit more technical than mine. So pay attention. Yeah. yeah. Lift that up. Put that in there. <laughs> Give a little splash. Kablamo. Kablamo. Here we go. Got about a quarter of a pail. All right, let's take a little look. Not too bad. Let me get that Let's down get into there one time. Not too yeah, bad at yeah. all for a quarter pail. Yeah. It's a little baby sluice. I would say we're doing well. We've got about a quarter pail left in mine right here. We're still running away, and I'm I'm seeing fantastic gold sticking on there. For sure. Let's see if we can get some of that on camera to show how that falls right out of there and just sticks to that mat. See how that kind of just takes its time creeping down there, and you see all those purple and red looking rocks, those are all those real heavy ones. When I start seeing those in my pan, in my test pans, I know that I'm in the right spot because that stuff's really heavy. There were a couple of pieces down in there that stuck. This glare is kind of hard to make them out, but they are, there's plenty of gold in there and I, I'm sitting on another pail right there. <laughs> Chock full. So we're gonna keep at it and I'll show you guys another cleanup shortly. Technical. All right, we're starting our second pail of our second run right here. And this right here is what was on the bottom of that first pail. Now, rather than scrape that all up real nice and pretty like, I just dump it in a pan. And a lot of times when you're doing your classification, you're jostling around that material. And a lot of the gold likes to settle down further in the bottom of that pan or the pail. So many times I'll find that there's really good gold in that in that bottom, I don't know, inch or so that's left on the, uh, when you're done scooping onto your sluice here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pan that out. That bad pony right there. And I'll just reach over here and throw a couple of scoops on here while we're doing that, just like that. Sometimes you can really score doing this especially if you're not on too much clay because that gold will tend to sink through that through those gravels and down towards the bottom of the pail a little bit further so i i, I wouldn't say we're working 100 percent clay here i mean there's a lot of clay here and it does get it does get bunched up in the bottom of that of that uh, pail but i think we stand a pretty good shot of seeing a pretty good pan here so let me throw another scoop on our sluice yeah, you can see it's starting to turn into that dark colored, real heavy stone. That's that's a really good sign right there for sure that we're working the exact right material for sure. So this might take me a minute. Let me throw another scoop on my sluice and I'll continue the process. Yeah, have another one. Throw it on there. And here's the result right here. Not too darn bad. There's some nice pieces of gold in there. That was just a little bit on the bottom of my pail. Sometimes that's just fun playing around. All right, back to work. All right, all right, Rigby says it's snack time. Jeez. This snack time is brought to you by Bobo Links from Blue Nest Beef. These beef sticks are 100% grass fed and absolutely delicious. Let's see, what does that say? Peel here, highly technical. There you go. Yeah, he needs that. He's a hard working miner. <laughs> Thank you. And Ryan brought him another milk bone. Yeah, he really is a hard working miner. <laughs> Yay, it's raining. Clean up number two. Not too darn shabby. There's all kinds of gold in there. I'm happy. All we gotta do now is keep grinding. 
Hey, Rigby, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to watch this piece of jerky. I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to go classify some more material. You make sure nobody gets that, okay? Okay. Well, Rigbone here, he's still looking for another snack. Uh, uh, don't even think about it. Ugh, that stink. Well, we've been grinding away. And I took a break from sluicing over there. Ryan is still sluicing. And I just wanted to go around and test some prime looking areas just to see if maybe there are some uh, larger pieces of gold. Another technical term called a feeler or a picker. And I found one. Let's take a look. Right there. I can feel that baby all day long but I can't quite get it picked up. It's a nice little piece of gold. It's got some shape to it. And along with that came all those pieces right there. I was doing just a little bit of speed panning back there. Uh, filling up a pan, getting it down close and then filling it up again. I think I filled it up three times and there's pl plenty of gold in there. A new little spot down the creek just a little bit further. But that is a dandy piece of gold. Pay no attention to that. Yuck. Another feeler, ta-da. <laughs> yeah, just doing some panning. Can't you smell that smell? I've gotten another one. Bam, another one. Look at that hound dog. That is a nice flake right there. I can feel it. <laughs> Bunch of other small, well, not I mean, they're smaller than that one, but that stuff right there is super micro fine. We got some medium sized ones and that big honking flake right there. And just in case anybody out there is new to gold mining, etc., this here is a snuffer jar. Basically, it's highly technical. Well, you squeeze it just like that and then you suck the gold up. Got it. Well, we've had enough. My back's yeah. sore. I think Ryan's had enough. What oh, do you yeah. got in your little snuffer there? Oh, it's about six years worth of gold. Six years <laughs> worth of gold? <laughs> oh, he's got a nice little jar of gold there. Almost about a gram. About a gram. Nice. Yeah, for panning mainly. Yeah. Well, we're going to do a little snuffer dump. I hardly ever do snuffer dumps out in the field. Let me see if I can get this lid off here. There is a small amount of black sand in here. Come on. Oh, there we go. Look at my old man hands. Pretty wrinkly. All right, we'll give her a dump and see what we're looking at here. That looks really, really good. Definitely not too bad at all. There's some pretty good looking gold in there, including a number of pickers. Grapes, I think we got three pickers today. Let's see if I can get that tapped it up to the top with one hand. Huh? <laughs> Well, yeah, maybe not so much. Yeah, it's working a little bit, I suppose. But you get the gist of it. There's some pretty good gold in there. And we have our green bucket over here with our sluice concentrates over here. Right there. There's a pretty fair pile of stuff in there with some gold. So we're going to get this stuff back to the shop of, shop of wonder and take a look at the fridge of wonder. Back in a bit. Oh, I need a cold one. <laughs> How'd you guys beat me here? I was driving 95 miles an hour. Well, as long as you guys are here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one. That's right, out of the fridge of wonder. I've got a tub of water set up over here. We've got our snufferings right here, which you guys talk, took a look at earlier. And we've got our concentrates from our two sluice runs right here. That's not a whole lot of material. I thought it was a little bit more than that, but that is a pretty small sluice. So I'm gonna turn that into bigs and littles. I've got a little, I don't know what the heck that is, probably a like a 10, number 10 classifier or something, 10 mesh. Turn that into bigs and littles. And we'll cobbles, cobbles, cobbles. Yeah.
There we go. Looks pretty good. Not too much for bigs. But it's blacker and black and heavy. Here's all our smalls. Good and black. I think we can pan that out, no problem. Let's go ahead and do the big stuff on camera. Look at how red that's turning. A lot of iron in there, that's for sure. And we usually don't find too much in the bigs. Well, we almost never do. <laughs> I'll give it a couple of taps up there. I'm not too, too enthused about our chances here. I think I had a pretty good glimpse of what we were dealing with out in the field. And as we expected, no gold in the big stuff. Oh well, let's pan out the littles. All right, before we get to our tap to the top of the week, in regards to the tap to the top of the week, we got a package from Australia from Gruber Ned Jardine. He's got a YouTube channel out there, a pretty darn good one indeed. He mixes it up quite a bit out there. And he sent me a couple of t-shirts here, a gray one and a black one. This being the front logo, and this is on the back. I just thought I'd flip flop them around so you got the gist of it. He sent me this awesome cre crevice tool right here that I personally saw him make on a video. This thing is fabulous. It's absolutely built like you wouldn't believe. I bet you you'd never wear that thing out. Well, maybe unless you're two toes. He sent me a cool koala mug right here. You know, for coffee. <laughs> and a couple of pop holders here. Very cool. Yeah, a couple of old... 4x gold beer cans i'm digging on that these really cool uh pyrite samples right here just look at that stuff Wait, that's fool's gold all day long we're gonna have all kinds of stuff for our patreon and all these really cool refrigerator magnets all kind of australian themed right there well mostly because it says australia on all of it <laughs> thank you very much and he also sent me a whole pile of stickers here one of which is going on that fridge back there and here's our gold right here it's uh pretty decent these three pieces right over here i put off to the side because i can feel each and every one of them they do have a little bit of character and they're casting a little bit of a shadow i can feel them not bad gold at all. So let's get set up for our tap to the top. All right, like I said, this tap to the top is brought to you by Gruber Ned Jardine, the gold hunter. Let's get that baby up into a nice smile. Oh yeah, fantastic. Let's drop her into three. Take a look at it, nice and chunky all day long. Thank you, Ned. Thank you very much. <laughs> Take 293,001. <laughs> Hallelujah. No ice, no snow, no bugs. <laughs> a little bit of drizzle, but who cares? We're coming off of 493,000 months of winter. I'll take it. Rigby put us on the gold again today. Ryan found a bunch and we found a bunch. We just went out there and had a good time. Came home, we opened up some awesome mail from Australia from Gruber Ned Jardine. Go ahead and check him out. You'll like it. And uh, I can't wait to go out and do it again. So until the next episode, like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. It helps build our channel. Check out our Patreon page in the description box below. Flower Gold Wizards, out. Oi, moi, that's a ripper. Ow. Hey, mate, that's a ripper. Mm. Oi, moi, that's a ripper. Mm.